an article came out in the Atlantic and basically it had no sources. It's trying to imply that it was either Mattis or Kelly, but it had no sources, which the left-wing media often does, and basically states that the trip that Trump took to Normandy back in 2018, where they had some mechanical issues with the helicopter and several other issues, they were trying to say in this article that Trump called all of the dead U.S. heroes that are interned there a bunch of losers. So there were some other things that came out too, and they basically said Trump refused to get out of the car because he didn't want to get his hair wet. And it goes on and on and on and on. And what I find real interesting, A, yet another ridiculous story uh, that's put out by the left-wing media, and immediately the Biden campaign starts running with it because they're working in conjunction with one another. And apparently they had a call with some left-wing veteran organizations and, and Tammy Duckworth, who's an absolute disaster, by the way, to, and discussed how they were going to take advantage of the fake story that they're coming out with. And basically what I find really rich is the left in this country pretending that they give a shit about the military and veterans when over the course of history, they could have cared less and they've actively worked against the military and veterans. Uh, if you look at when Afghanistan and Iraq kicked off and look at some of the hijinks that the, the Democrats pulled back then, which only served to hurt the US soldier. Uh, and if you go back even farther where uh, the New York Times back in the 30s was basically running cover for Adolf Hitler and what was going on in Germany. And as recently as well, Vietnam, who were the individuals that were spitting on U.S. soldiers that were coming back from Vietnam? Who were the individuals that put pressure on the government to tie the hands of the U.S. soldier in Vietnam, preventing them from winning this war? So basically they were over there trudging it out and getting hammered because they weren't allowed to win. Who did that? It was the left in this country. So now they come out with a bogus story to try to hit Trump. They have no sources. They know the media is going to just take it. Well, the media put it out. And it's in conjunction, I truly believe, with the Democrats to push this thing forward. And they think that, A, they have any credibility with, with real veterans. Okay, there are several outlying left-wing veterans groups out there, whatever. They're, they are in the huge, huge, huge minority of veterans, okay? Okay. They think that we're going to believe anything that they say. This party has, over the course of 30 to 40 years, turned into an anti-America, freedom and liberty hating, uh, capitalist uh, destructing party. It is not, it is not, a, it shouldn't even be on equal footing of any other political movement in this country. It is a left-wing Marxist communist party. And if you, they may put a, a, a sweet cover on it, uh, but if you look at where they're getting their directives and everything that they're doing, it is an anti-American party. They do not give a shit about the US military. In fact, they've worked with the Rhino Republicans in Congress and they have done everything they can to weaken the military. So, if they think that this is gonna be a story that they get traction with, there may be a few rubes out there that don't like Trump to begin with and are gonna to try to take this and use it as, oh, it's a done deal. If they think that they're gonna to touch Trump's base, which I am a proud part of, they've got another thing coming. And what needs to happen this October is this whole left-wing cabal needs to be handed a lesson like they've never been handed a lesson in their life. You need to get out and make sure you vote and that we take power and get this country built back up again. Another little point that I'm trying to, to, to make here, uh, which plays into this, is Biden gave a speech yesterday where he's hammering Trump on the economy, the economy that the Democrats took down. We had a roaring economy, there is no doubt. Where the economy is today, now we're coming back from this COVID virus, despite of the left keeping some of the biggest states in this country shut down, New York, California, Illinois, Washington State. Okay, it goes on and on and on. Despite that, 
The unemployment rate, I believe, is at 8.4%. Do you know what the unemployment rate was when Barack Obama and Joe Biden were running for re-election in 2012 at this time? It was 8.1%. It was a failure. Complete. That whole administration was a failure. Joe Biden's been a failure for 50 years that he's been. He's been a failure before that. The guy was a failure since he was born. And for them to come out with this article today is absolutely disgusting. And for them to jump on this, it, it's coordinated. It's not like I'm surprised that any of this happened, but it still turns my stomach and it repulses me. And it should repulse you too. These people will say anything, do anything, destroy our country in the process to get themselves back into power. So I'm hoping that like-minded people out there see through this nonsense. And this motivates you even more to hand these people a huge defeat come November, despite all the fraud and all this nonsense they're trying to pull with the mail and everything else. Get out there and vote for Trump. And we also need to deal with uh, some issues in our own party, but one thing at a time. Get out there and vote for freedom. Get out there and vote for America and get out there and vote for an individual who's done more for veterans. And you veterans out there know that deal with the VA. It's a night and day difference with the VA since Trump has been president, since that horrible Barack Obama administration. And even Bush before him, the VA is a much, much better place. Trump has gone out of his way to help veterans. And for them to come out with this, you need to push back because these people do not give a shit about you. They are going to try to use you and manipulate you because they think, hey, let's face it. They think you and me, we're all a bunch of rubes. We're the dummies. They're the smart ones. Let's teach these people a lesson in November. And remember, live in freedom every day.